Welcome to another video. In this problem of what call equations, we want to solve for the value of x. But note that if you have i square, i square equals to negative one, so that is a complex root. And uh, so if I try to rewrite this problem as the root of x plus one equals to, uh, changing this to two i raised to power two, so it's still minus two according to the assumption above. And uh, if I take the square of both sides, so just to cancel the roots at the left hand side, so we have 2i square always to the power of 2. Then uh, if square cancel square root, we have x plus 1 equals to 4i raised to the power of 4. And then here is x uh, plus 1 equals to the entire of this will become 4. And how? The reason is, if you have this i raised to the power of 4, it can be broken down into i square raised to the power of 2, and where everything is minus 1 raised to the power of 2, so which equals to 1. And 1 multiplying 4, that is still 4. So therefore, x here equals to 3. But looking at this, if we try to substitute it in the given problem above, so we will discover that it's not going to be equal, because, so doing this, we have the root of 3 plus 1, this is not equal to negative 2, uh, but this is not equal to negative 2 in a real number, but this is, um, it is equal in a complex number from these assumptions. And uh, if you consider this as one of the first method uh, to solve this, uh, just to check that x equals to 3, and we can still assume another method, and here is the method. Suppose you have the root of x plus 1 equals to negative 2. So if I transfer negative 2 to the left hand side, so let's say we add 2 to both sides. So here becomes root x plus 1 plus 2 equal to 0. And if I, to, if I try to take the square of both sides and we have this equal to 0 raised to the power of 2. So the expansion of this becomes x plus 1 plus y b is 4 root x plus 1 plus 4, everything equal to 0. So, so if I make 4 root x plus 1 to start this problem, then I'm going to add x plus 5 together because 1 and 4, so they can add each other. So here we have 4 root x plus 1 equals to negative bracket x plus 5 equal to uh, x plus 5 rather then by taking another square again so 4 we take square that is 16 and square we cancel square root so this becomes x plus 1 equals to this uh, negative we negate because of the square and we have x plus 5 is about to left so multiplying this out, we have 16x plus 16 equals to expansion of this is x raised to the power 2 plus 10x and plus 25. So, and if I transfer all the left hand side to the right hand side, we have equals to x raised to the power of 2 plus 10x plus 25 minus 16x plus uh, minus 16 right there, and everything equal to 0. Then we have x square this and this it becomes negative six x y this and this is plus nine equal to zero and we know here is a quadratic equation so if we try to factorize this it becomes x minus three raised to the power of two and everything equals to zero then we can conclude that this uh, follow equals to three so automatically the left hand side equals to the right hand side here. But this is not equal in a real space, all right. But it is equal in a complex, uh, in complex. So this how to solve this. And some might say the equation does not exist yet. But this the satisfy follow of it, which is s equals to three. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class.